Hey, this is Apostle Bird. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure we all heard the scripture more than once, but God. Now I want to start that off today with but God. And I want to end with the same thing, but God. I think we all are very concerned about the double standard that we see on so many media platforms and also our local and international news. And it makes all of us begin to wonder, where is God in all of this? We are all praying, we are all interceding, we are all crying out to God. God changed this situation because it doesn't appear to be right. It seems to appear to be very corrupt. I'm reminded of the scripture that comes from Psalms 1103. It says, if the foundation be destroyed, what will the righteous do? So I want to begin to you by reading 20 verses to you from Psalm 73. I know it's kind of lengthy, but I'm sure you will appreciate it. I'll begin with verse 1. Truly God is good to Israel, to those who have a pure heart. But me, my feet have almost stumbled. My steps have nearly slipped because I've envied the arrogant and I've observed how the wicked are well off. They suffer no pain. Their bodies are fit and strong. They, have, they are never in trouble. They aren't weighed down like other people. That's why they wear arrogance like a, like a neck brace and violence covers them like clothes. Their eyes bulge out from eating so well and their hearts overflow with delusion. They scoff and they mock. They scoff and they talk so cruel from their privileged positions. They plan oppression. Their mouths dare to speak against heaven. Their tongues roam the earth. That sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? That's why people keep going back to them and keep approving what they say. And what they say is this. How could God possibly know? Does the Most High know anything at all? Can you listen to it? Listen to the arrogance and the pride of the hearts and the delusions that comes out. Look at these wicked ones. Always relax, piling up the wealth. Meanwhile, I have kept my heart pure for no good reason. I've washed my hands to stay innocent for nothing. I'm weighted down all day long. I'm punished every morning. If I say I will talk about this at all, I would have been unfaithful to my children. But when I tried to understand these things, it just seemed like hard work. Until I entered God's sanctuary and understood what would happen to the wicked, you will definitely put them on a slippery slope and you will make them fall into ruins. How quickly they are devastated, utterly destroyed by terrors, as quickly as a dream departs from someone waking up, my Lord, when you are stirred up, you will make them disappear. Wow. When we see all of the things that seems to drain confidence out of our heart, when we hear all of these things that seems to cause our faith to be attacked, when we walk into our streets and we go into our schools and we go into the public place just to buy milk, eggs, and bread, and we're all confronted with something that seems so arrogant, something that seems so diligent to support its identity, rather than the purpose for which they were created, but God. So I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want you to be so encouraged. I'm not talking to people who are, are just a moral activist. I'm talking to people who love the God, people whose heart are pure before the Lord. Let's not be discouraged by what we hear. Let's not be disdrained by what we know. Let's stand on the word of the living God. He is going to see us through because they are on a slippery slope. But God, this is Apostle Bird. God bless you. I want you to know that I love you. I'm standing with you and you are a powerful people. Be encouraged today. Peace out.